DNA replication is a fundamental process that all living organisms undergo to copy their DNA. It is an elaborate process that requires several enzymes such as helicases, topoisomerases, DNA polymerase, and DNA ligase to catalyze the replication reaction. In a cell, DNA replication begins at a specific point. For example, bacteria E. coli has a definite region where the DNA replication originates. Such a region is known as the origin of replication. This is also the reason why a vector is required when a piece of DNA needs to be replicated during recombinant DNA procedures, as it is the vector that provides the origin of replication. In some cases like eukaryotes with large DNA molecules, there may be many origins of replication that finally merge with one another. During replication, first the enzyme helicases unwind and uncoil the DNA double helix into single strands of DNA by the breakdown of hydrogen bonds. However, the main enzyme that catalyzes the replication process after it begins at the origin of replication is DNA polymerase, which is said to be DNA dependent as it uses the DNA template to catalyze the polymerization of deoxyribonucleotides. The DNA replication process requires a high degree of accuracy because any error during replication will result in mutations. Thankfully, DNA polymerase is a highly efficient enzyme that catalyzes the reaction not only with accuracy but also does it very swiftly. It catalyzes the polymerization of a large number of nucleotides in a very short span. For instance, E. coli can replicate 4.6 into 10 to the power 6 base pairs of diploid content in 38 minutes. That is, the average rate of polymerization is 2000 base pairs per second. The replication process is also an expensive process in the sense that it requires expenditure of energy. The deoxyribonucleoside triphosphates that act as substrates also serve as the energy source for the reaction. The terminal phosphates in the deoxyribonucleoside triphosphates break down to provide energy as ATP. Due to the high energy requirement, two DNA strands do not always separate completely, especially in the case of long DNA molecules. However, to facilitate the separation of a DNA helix, the enzyme topoisomerase cuts and rejoins one strand of DNA. This then unzips the double-stranded DNA. As a result, replication bubbles are formed that extend as a Y-shaped replication fork. This replication fork is actually a small opening in the DNA helix where replication occurs. However, there is a small catch. The DNA-dependent DNA polymerase enzyme can catalyze the replication reaction in only one direction, 5' prime to 3'. Prime. This causes additional complications. Replication on one template strand that has 3' prime to 5' prime polarity, also known as the leading strand, is continuous. Whereas replication on the other template strand with 5' prime to 3', prime, also referred to as the lagging strand, is discontinuous. These discontinuously replicated fragments, also known as Okazaki fragments, are then joined by the enzyme DNA ligase. Further, 
Cellular proofreading mechanisms ensure the fidelity of DNA replication. In case wrong bases are entered into the helix of DNA by mutation, the enzyme nuclease can identify and correct them. They cut off the defective segment of DNA and introduce the correct segment, which is then joined by the enzyme DNA ligase. However, scientists are still to understand all the aspects of DNA replication. Although it is a known fact that replication of DNA in eukaryotes takes place in the synthesis phase of the cell cycle. The cell cycle too needs to be coordinated with the replication process or a chromosome anomaly may occur. For example, a failure in cell division after DNA replication results in an inheritance disorder as polyploidy. Therefore, the process of DNA replication, which is the basis of biological inheritance, is conducted with accuracy with the help of various enzymes in a determined manner.